And so I welcome Deputy Secretary Cantero. Recording in progress. Ian Ocasililla Manco. Good morning, honorable distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, from both the national, state, and the local government. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this morning, 2022 Micronesia Cleanup Day Award Ceremony. Considering that we have our fourth year of celebrating Micronesia Cleanup Day, a day that was declared by our leaders back in 2019 in the state of Chuk during the Micronesian Island Forum. It is only appropriate that we acknowledge efforts by those in waste management and environmental protection, but not only those organizations, but as us as a human beings living on islands like Pombe, Chu, Kushai, and Yap. Please allow me to do your Master of Ceremony this morning. And before we proceed into our program today, I would like to ask Father Dave to say the opening prayers for us this morning. Father Dave. Let us pray. Lord, our God, creator of all and source of all life and goodness, ever since the beginning of time, you have created the earth to be a dwelling place for yourself and for all your children, so that we and all your creatures can enjoy life in its fullness in communion with you. And then having placed the care of your creation into our hands as your stewards, you take delight in all our efforts to keep all our island environments clean and beautiful for your greater honor and glory, and for promoting the good health of all the citizens and residents of Micronesia. And so, loving Father, <coughs> whose beauty is seen in all you have made, we humbly ask your blessing upon all those who have sacrificed their time and energy and creativity into promoting and participating in the annual Micronesia Cleanup Day. In them, we see your spirit renewing the face of the earth. And so, Father, grant that this award ceremony today encourage many more to engage in the sacred duty to maintain a beautiful and healthy and sustainable environment for all. We ask this prayer in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now I would like to ask for us to follow us to stand for the national anthem.
next in our program, we'll have a welcoming remark by Acting Secretary. However, she's out because of the new flu that came around the island. So on her behalf, uh, Madam Lucy Overhoff, Deputy Assistant Secretary for Teca, will speak on her behalf. Lucy, have come. to this year's uh, Micronesia Cleanup Day Awards Ceremony. This year marks our fourth year to celebrate what our leaders in 2019 declared to, do, to be observed as Micronesia Cleanup Day on September 13th of every year. The purpose of this year's Micronesia Cleanup Day is not just to recognize those who won this year's trash challenge, but to join our leaders to encourage all of us to continue to keep our islands clean and protect our pristine environment. We have seen that all groups who participated have worked very hard and we congr congratulate all for the enthusiasm, but especially the winners who showed extra efforts and dedication. We are here to recognize those efforts and present the awards in four distinct categories. Number one, groups or individuals who have dedicated their time to minimize waste and conservation uh, and conserve our natural resources. Number two, businesses that have adopted eco-friendly products and stopped the use of one-time use plastic shopping bags. Third, school environment clubs that have promoted the application of the three R, reuse, reduce, and recycle. And last but not the least, number four, groups that have consistently conducted monthly cleanup since 2021. Thank you all for joining us in witnessing this event. Before I close, I wish to thank our donors and partners, namely Magnesia Conservation Trust uh, Fund, Secretary of the Pacific Community, FIDAL and the College of Micronesia FSM, who have made this event possible this year. Last but not the least, a big thank you for the MCT committees for your continued commitment in this work. Ladies and gentlemen, let us continue to keep our islands clean by minim minimizing waste. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Obro. As the theme for this Macronesian Cleanup Day says, clean islands for healthier communities within the area. And this is the effort that we've been trying to promote since 2019. Uh, our next item in our program this morning, a keynote speaker, and on behalf of the officer in charge, uh, Deputy Secretary for DFA, uh, Mr. Ricky Cantero, will deliver this remark. Ponte 
Pwede ay chuan sa karata pan pacho nilang ay chuan sa karata ng Tiffany, Bonagat Soko, and Bonpei U. Pangunti, bonsa po ko. Iso ko po. Sa pulmahalikan ko, nanalang ko, nankanye ko. Sa pulmahalikan karos, o sa pulmahalikan and Bonpei U. Ab medal check arus pacho sa research alukar ang mga surprise. Musa po ko so ko nagkacing kupure bayan ka bata kupur iban pacho ng tatongki pacho and why ko ito ang sakarada and bilkap wewe ang Israel akan tapito sang taka and mas tikika nagkacing kupure. Ladies and gentlemen, mayors, distinguished guests, state counterparts, winners, I am honored to represent the president on this occasion of Micronesia Cleanup Day, as it is a day that has been declared by him and other Micronesian leaders as a day to recommit our efforts to continue to address waste management issues. The president is unable to be present today to other pressing matters, but he has asked me to convey that he will co he will continue we con convey that we continue to address the campaign on clean islands for healthier communities in the FSM. As we are aware, in 2019, through the Micronesian Island Fair Island Fair Forum, Islands Forum, our leaders of the Micronesian region came together in Chuk State and declare September 13, 2021 as Micronesia Cleanup Day. This is significant because it tells the world that the small islands in the North Pacific do care about protecting their pristine islands. In the same year, Congress passed a law banning the imports of single-use plastics this law has given us the opportunity to strengthen our commitment to protect our environment. Protecting our environment is a right thing. It is our right to protect it from harm so we can be able to enjoy clean land, water, and air. It is very crucial that we take care of our surroundings now that we are in an age where our earth has become afflicted with COVID-19, climate change, natural disasters, and the likes. We are blessed with our pristine islands, blue, crystal, clean water, and clean air. We are surrounded by natural resources. This is one reason we must maintain our, our island's health. Micronesia Cleanup Day is not just a day of cleaning, it is also a day to promote, enhance, and reconfirm our commitment to the movement of maintaining clean islands for healthier communities in the federal states of Micronesia. Lately, we have had cleanups, but there is still much to do because we need to improve our legislations and enforce them. It is our duty to protect to properly manage and dispose our waste. We cannot learn to do that. We must do that or else who will do it for us. My fellow citizens, let, me, let us join hands and learn more about what we can do to preserve our environment. Let us learn and apply what we have learned so we can keep our environment clean and healthy for years to come and many, many other years to come. Please pick up your trash, clean up after yourself. These are simple actions that can make a difference. It helps us minimize waste. We must train ourselves to get into the habit of making sure our environment is healthy and vibrant. It is our responsibility do it ourselves. Once again, I urge all of us to consider the theme of the clean up day this year.
clean islands for healthy communities in our federal states of Micronesia. I thank you for your support. And from me personally, representing the ABSM, representing the uh, president, thank you so much for this opportunity to say a few words. Thank you. Kalawan Tagidi, let's give him a round of applause again. Now, the formalities of our ceremony this morning come to an end. Now it's the fun part, the presentation of awards and certifications or certificates. So I'll call upon the chairman of Macronesia Cleanup Day planning to come forward, Miss Patty, where are you? Thank you, MC, and um, my respects and my greetings to all of you. Uh, Deputy, uh, Assistant Secretary, other amateurs, uh, leaders from SPC, from uh, Chaikov, are, of course, and not to mention our mayors. Directors, and, us, and of course, our principals uh, from the various um, schools here in Bombay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is an honor um, for uh, MCD to um, host today's uh, award ceremony. Um, this is supposed to be the fun part, but yet I'm nervous. So um, I, was, I was thinking that I was actually going to say drum roll, but then somebody will have to, you know, pat the table. But <laughs> anyway, um, this year, um, our main Micronesia Cleanup Day activity was in the form of a trash challenge. And uh, the trash challenge was um, conducted throughout the four FSM states. And that is why we have uh, our state counterparts um, in Zoom mode, and that's why this is uh, mostly done in, uh, in Zoom mode because of, of our um, state counterparts. But the trash challenge was um, for anybody in the states, any not, not just anybody, but any group in the, you know, throughout the states to um, register with EPA, take a photo of, a, of one of the dirtiest place that they could find on island, and then clean it up, and then take a picture after. So that was what they were gonna do. And so we had a, quite a few people who registered in Yap, Chuk, uh, Ipope, and Krishan. In Yap, there were four groups that registered. In Chuk, there were 12. In Pope, there were about 11. And in, um, no, I'm sorry, not 11, but five. And in Krishan, there were about 11. So, um, there are three top winners. There were actually, they were actually supposed to identify three top, th top winners. And how did they identify those winners? Well, based on the photos and also based on EPA's uh, inspection, as EPA's were supposed to conduct the inspe inspection of the, of, the, of the sites. So, um, since the states are not here, we, uh, have informed them that we will um, send their certificates, but we've already identified um, the winners. The first prize winner uh, is in the amount of uh, $1,000. The second prize is $750, and the third is $500. So, and the group, the groups have to be about 10 to 15 members. So those, are, those were just some of the requirements. So I'm happy to uh, announce those uh, uh, trash winners, um, I mean trash challenge winners today. Uh, beginning with the state of Yap, we're just going to announce as we cannot um, really have people here. But um, for the first prize winner in Yap, 
It goes to One Yon Cleanup Group. The One Yon Cleanup Group of YAP for being the first prize winner of the 2020, uh, 2022 Trash Challenge in the state of YAP. And they will be receiving $1,000. The second place goes to Abril Cleanup Group, YAP, for being the second prize winner of the 2020 Trash Challenge, and they will be receiving $750. And of course, the third prize, Siom FSM uh, YAP Campus Cleanup Group, will, will be receiving $500. So that's for the state of YAP. So for the state of Chu, we have, for the first place, for the first prize winner, goes to a group called Saporong Women Ministry. And they will be receiving $1,000. For the second prize, the group called Achocho will be receiving $750. And... For the third, uh, for the third place, goes to the group Vicky Two. They will be receiving five hundred dollars. So those are the three winners of the state of Chu. I believe we have representatives of uh, uh, Pompeii here. So. Um, All right, so we'll do Krishai first before we um, come to Pompeii. But I noticed that Kurma is on and is online. So Kurma, if you are listening, this is for your first prize winner. Your first prize winner goes to the Jacob George Group, and they will be receiving one thousand dollars. Congratulations. The second group goes to Sepe. Mike Pally Group. You'll notice that these are names, but they are actually the leaders of the group. Okay. And the third prize winner, I'm sorry, the second place is, of course, 750. And the third place winner goes to Theodore and Lono Group. And they will be receiving $500. So congratulations, Krishai. representatives from uh, Pompeii here who can um, receive the award? No? Huh? Okay, so Alright, so first prize in the trash challenge for the state of Pompeii goes to Baniboa Nech Youth Organization. Okay, no one is here. So they will be receiving $1,000. Okay. I believe uh, the Baniboa Nech Youth Organization cleaned um, uh, most of Nech Point. All right. The second, uh, second prize winner goes to the Putoi Youth Organization. And they will be receiving 750. Okay. So, if you're here, okay. So, um, may I, may I kindly ask, uh, the deputy to <laughs> present. Okay, so um, this certificate of award is presented to the Budoi Youth Organization of Pompeii.
Let me just read out so it's clear uh, to everyone what uh, was inscribed in this uh, excellent award. Certificate award presented to Butoy Youth Organization, Pompeii, for being the second prize winner of the 2022 Trash Challenge in your state. On this 13th of September, 2022, signed by the Honorable Andrew Arielda Tillman, Secretary, Epicent Department of Environment, Climate Change, and Emergency Management, and of course, signed by our President, His Excellency President David W. Banuelo, President of the Federal States of Micronesia. I think the signatures reflects the importance of this occasion uh, to the President, to the Secretary, and overall to the country. Uh, so I'm, I'm extremely pleased to, uh, to be here uh, to present this award to uh, uh, the Budoi Youth Organization Group. Uh, can we just give a round of applause, please? This group is um, composed of uh, employees at United. Okay, if they're not uh, here, um, we want to congratulate Work Life Pumpe for being uh, the third prize winner of the 2022 Trash Challenge uh, in the state of Pumpe. So those are the winners of this year's Trash Challenge 2022. Okay, so um, I'm going to uh, move on to the, as mentioned by um, our uh, Assistant Secretary Overhoff, there are other categories that we just wish to um, quickly uh, recognize. And uh, we also have a, cu a couple of our um, awardees here today who uh, uh, will be recognized. So I'm going to um, move, move on to the four categories. And the four categories are, uh, they include, the first one is, we want to um, inc uh, award a group or an individual who has, who has dedicated himself or herself or themselves to eliminate and reduce uh, the generation of waste and conserve natural resources. So we have uh, actually, um, an award that we created this year. It's called the Presidential Environmental Stewardship Award. And this goes to a group or an individual who has dedicated or who has a dedication to eliminate and reduce the generation of waste and conserve natural resources. This year, the states only identified, there were only two states who identified um, their um, recipients. So, um, without further ado, may I also ask the deputy to, I think this is a very important award, um, or if I may ask Assistant Secretary uh, Oberhoff to assist in the, I think we only have one person here who to receive, yeah. So, th this year's Presidential Environmental Stewardship Award goes to, first of all, uh, the Onesum Women Association of Chuk and the other recipient goes to Pompeii Waste Management Services, your Presidential Environmental Stewardship Award. So how did this happen? We asked the EPAs and the CURMA to nominate their um, group or their individual to, for this special kind of award. So if I may ask a representative from Pompei Waste Management Services to... Before I, she's asked me to, Chairman has asked me to read it out as a Deputy Bandera did. 
Awards. So this is the Presidential Environmental Stewardship Award presented to Blue Bay Waste Management uh, Services, PWMS, for their dedication to eliminate and reduce the generation of waste and conserve natural resources on this 13th of September 2020. And it's signed by Honorable Andrew uh, Yattelman of TECAM and uh, His Excellency President David W. Banwell, uh, President of the Government of the Federal States. Thank you very much. So that was the uh, first and foremost category. The second category is um, recognizing recognizing businesses that um, adopt that has adopted eco-friendly products. So I will just um, read off. A couple here, so we have a couple from the states. For the state of Chuuk, the business that has adopted eco-friendly products is Deal Fair Share. Deal Fair Share Store. I'm sorry, Deal Fair Store. In the state of Pompey, we have, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, in the state of Pompey, we have two stores that have, um, really dedicated efforts to prohibit the use of plastic shopping bags. And so we would like to recognize uh, those two stores or those two businesses uh, if, they are, if there are any representatives. So um, the first one is Palm Terrace Store for your efforts to prohibit the use of plastic shopping bags. Uh, if you notice when you go shopping there, you know, they, they don't give you uh, plastic shopping bags but you're actually forced to <laughs> bring your own. So so if there is no representative, uh, we'd like to just recognize Palm Terrace and we will give uh, a representative uh, the certificate later, but congratulations. The other store that has um, uh, demonstrated the effort to prohibit the use of plastic shopping bags is Ace Office Supply. So if we have a representative from Ace Office Supply, um, to prohibit the use of plastic shopping bags uh, on this 13th of September 2022 and signed by Honorable Andrew R. Yattelman and His Excellency David W. Uh, Bramwell, President. In the state of Kershaw, the business that has adopted eco-friendly product is Simpson Imports Company. And that's uh, all for the business sector. Now we're going to go into the um, education sector with the schools. So I noticed that there are some representatives of the schools here. So um, if you're here, you can... Uh, 
come up to the front. Um, so we have a couple of certificate awards uh, going out to the schools, especially those schools that um, EPA has uh, created environmental clubs um, alongside. Uh, but then we've also been working uh, with other schools that, uh, other private and public schools that have uh, also uh, created environment-related programs uh, in the past. So we we invited them to also come and join us today uh, to be recognized for uh, your efforts to assist us. So let me begin. Um, let's start with the state of Pompeii. Um, in the state of Pompeii, we have Pompeii Seventh-day Adventist High School. And uh, I'll just read, read it off. It says, um, for instilling in your students the responsibility to protect our environment through your active environmental club. Okay. And then, of course, we have Pompey Catholic School. And I see that we have the principal, uh, Mrs. Yolanda Nampe, here. If you can accept the award. Uh, principal and B. The, ne the, the next award goes to Our Lady of Mercy High School. And I see that we have Principal Russell Figueres. Is it Figueres or Figueres? Okay. Principal Figueres. So, uh, Principal Figueres, this is uh, presented to Our Lady of Mercy High School for instilling in your students the responsibility to protect our environment through your active environmental club. Thank you very much. And of course, we have Calvary Christian Academy and Principal Virginia John. John. In the other states, we have uh, we have for the state of Krishai, we we have Lela Elementary School uh, for your dedication to promote and implement the arts through your environment club in the community. So. State of Krishai is a Lela Elementary School was chosen. And in the state of Chuk, the chosen school was St. Cecilia School. And they were both chosen for their dedication to promote and implement the three R's in their environmental club in the community. Along with that, in the state of Pompey, we have Omene Elementary School and also 
This is for uh, its dedication to promote and implement the three R's through uh, the environment club in the community. We don't have a representative of uh, Omane Elementary School as um, the principal expressed that uh, this was the first day of, of uh, class, so um, they regret, but um, they are happy to receive the coordinator. So uh, thank you for those of you who came, uh, especially the principals. We are honored uh, by your presence. And thank you for um, helping us throughout the years in during our MCD activities. And of course, um, we would be remiss not to include and not to recognize our, uh, our partners, the people that have helped us um, alongside either for uh, purchasing uh, uh, our awareness materials or um, catering or uh, setting up um, setting up our um, our venues and um, areas or sites or you know organizing um, our activities uh, they need to be recognized and I noticed that uh, some of our partners are here and um, I would like to uh, also take this time take this opportunity to um, recognize them. So uh, without further ado, uh, if I may, um, first we'd like to um, recognize the vital group, and this is for the dedication and efforts to minimize waste and support to community causes or on environmental protection. Do we have a representative from the vital group? Of course, we would also like to recognize the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, or SPC, for your dedication and efforts to minimize waste and your support to community causes on environmental protection. I see that Director Stetsinski is here. Would you like to? Okay. We also have um, the Micronesia Conservation Trust, and we want to recognize their dedication and efforts to minimize waste and, to, and their support uh, to community causes on environmental protection. UNICEF um, has joined the Trash Challenge in Pope State, and so um, we just want to take this opportunity to also um, recognize them because uh, they actually walked, uh, you know, a distance from the causeway all the way up to the library just to pick up trash, um, and they wanted to join in, but they, they weren't really qualified to, to join the Trash Challenge, but uh, we just want to recognize uh, UNICEF for their dedication and efforts to Men and Women's Ways. So thank you very much. And the final award, um, the final category of, of award uh, is the, um, goes to the group that uh, has conducted monthly cleanups since 2021. And the states um, have identified uh, uh, some of them. In the state of Krishai, uh, we have United Airlines, um, they've conducted monthly cleanups since 2021. Uh, so we'd like to recognize their efforts for that. 
Um, nobody told them, uh, you know, that they had to pick up trash. I mean, they work for the airlines, so, you know, we, we think, what do, what do you care about that? I mean, you're in the air. But actually, they, <laughs> they took the time to um, conduct these monthly cleanups, and they've been doing it since uh, 2021. So thank you very much, uh, uh, United Airlines, and we applaud your efforts. In the state of uh, Koshoi also, we have the Udwe Youth Group, and they've also conducted uh, monthly cleanups since 2021. In the state of Chuk, we have the Chuk Women Council, or CWC, and they've conducted monthly cleanups since 2021. In the state of Yap, we have um, COM Yap Campus Cleanup Group, and they've conducted uh, um, monthly cleanups since then. Among the uh, among the uh, participants of the Trash Challenge, uh, there was also the Malok Youth for Christ, and although they did not. Um, uh, win a prize, uh, we would like to recognize their efforts today uh, for their dedication um, and their efforts to minimize waste. So congratulations uh, to Malak Youth. Uh, thank you very much for cleaning up the, the causeway uh, in Malak. Okay, so um, I believe that, that those were are, are the um, those are all the categories that I've uh, that we've um, come up with. Um, we don't have a representative for COM, but COM is also recognized today for uh, instilling in their students the responsibility to protect uh, our environment through their student programs. So congratulations, COM, and thank you very much for your effort. Okay, so I believe that, that I have come to the conclusion of the, uh, of the awards certification. Uh, thank you very much for bearing with me, bearing with me uh, on acknowledging uh, our winners. And once again, congratulations to all winners. And uh, also uh, congratulations to everyone who is um, uh, protecting the environment. We really appreciate your help, um, and we also appreciate uh, um, your presence here. Um, if, it, if it wasn't for you, well, we would not have um, made this uh, event today, so thank you very much. Thank you, Barry. Once again, let's give a round of applause to all the winners. And I can be request that we we'll continue this effort up to 2023. Now, let's allow the stage. If they have any statement to say, it's their time now, especially the state EPAs and criminal officers. If none, Kerma, you want to say something? Juke? Yeah? Thank you, Kushari. 
Thank you very much, Chuk State. And it's good to know that Governor of Chuk State joined us this morning for the award ceremony. Thank you, Governor Hanarun. Now we'll proceed for the video clips from the states. That's it for the presentation from the state. Uh, is Manu around? Well, our debate to do the closing prayer is not present. So, can I can we ask any volunteers from the schools to say the closing prayers for us? Heavenly Father, we thank you for the successful activity today. We ask you to keep on protecting all the efforts of Deccan and all the efforts of the people who are into environmental commitments. We ask you to 
keep us safe as we move to our respective offices and places. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much. Sorry to put you on the spot, but since our ticket didn't show this morning, I have to ask anyone from the crowd. Well, I think this is conclude our uh, our ceremony this morning. Once again, I thank you all for coming and joining us. Uh, this is first ever award ceremony that we've done for, especially in regard to our trash competition for our trash. So we're looking forward to more creative activities so that we continue to keep our islands clean for our for our own future generations. Thank you all. So we're, we're supposed to uh, be receiving lunch soon, so uh, uh, but we do have uh, um, some awareness t-shirts at the back if you want to grab uh, a couple, uh, along with uh, soap from Vital Group. So um, you can feel free to uh, wait uh, until our lunch is here and, and maybe get some uh, t-shirts. So the t-shirts uh, promote the three R's uh, in all the states, so we can probably get one for you, uh, another for your family member. Thank <laughs> you.